For Linda Crowder, simple things like taking the bus to work every morning, getting on an elevator, or just having a face-to-face -face conversation with someone were difficult experiences. Linda was one of the tens of thousands of African-American women who suffer from excessive hair growth, or hirsutism. In Linda's case, the unwanted hair grew on her face, attracting the kind of attention few of us want. The hair on my face affected me emotionally. I had a very bad complex, and um, I, I felt shy on, on trains and buses when I was standing up. I felt like people were looking you know, at all this hair, and it was very embarrassing to me, very embarrassing. But the findings of a recent study that successfully used a new diode laser for hair removal on dark-skinned patients may be the answer for Linda and others who are suffering from similar conditions. Dr. Elliot Battle, a dermatologist at Massachusetts General Hospital, was in charge of the study. Most physicians either avoided or were very cautious about treating people of color with lasers because of the fear of unwanted side effects, whether it is scarring or pigmentary changes. The significance of this study for both physicians and patients is that we can finally offer the ethnic population a very good way to remove hair with lasers. The study fueled the development of the Light Shear XC Diode Laser, which is capable of delivering the long pulse durations and the aggressive skin cooling that safely and effectively reduce hair growth in darker skin types, such as African Americans. Removing hair with this technology may also prove effective in treating pseudofolliculitis barbae, also known as beard bumps, another skin condition common to ethnic populations, affecting as many as 80% of African American men who shave. For patients with these and other hair-related disorders, existing treatment options such as electrolysis, waxing, and depilatories are ineffective and can cause dark spots and other skin problems. If you imagine laser light being a large buck of energy, we used to pour this energy into it very quickly. But from our research, we found we can pour the same energy into the skin very, very slowly. By pouring the, the laser light into the skin slowly, we can prevent damage to the skin. This new technology, combined with innovative research, can be used to treat hair-related disorders for men and women of all races and can also be used for cosmetic hair removal procedures. After the treatment, I didn't feel embarrassed on the elevator, having to look up to see what, where, you know, my stop and having to expose all that hair. Um, I could talk closer to people, and the complex was gone. And with the complex being gone, there was an emotional something lifted. If you are interested in laser hair removal, consult with a physician or a laser hair removal professional to discuss your options. To find a Light Shear XC diode laser in your area, you can call 1-800-227-1914. This is Linda Robertson reporting. When I first met the doctor, he was extremely confident that, my, that the hair on my face would be removed. He looked at my skin, he turned my, my face from side to side, and he said, this, this hair is going. You know, excessive hair growth is not just a cosmetic problem. It can really affect people's self-esteem and their quality of life. I have many patients who come in with pretty, pretty much the similar stories. They come in with their, their head down, face covered in a scarf, really embarrassed about their hair growth. They, they speak in very low tones. They don't give you eye contact. They talk about either their husband has left them because of hair growth or they cannot find a job. And it's amazing that after they get treated, you see a, a complete change in their personality. Their head is held high. They're looking for new boyfriends, looking for new jobs. I've had numerous treatments and I have noticed that this is the first time that I can touch my face and do not feel ingrowns. My face feels like a woman's face. I do not have um, a lot of hair. For years I have been meeting people with dark skin and talking to them about their options and saying to them that lasers are not a great option. They therefore have to use drugs or electrolysis or other types of ways of dealing with their hair. And now I'm no longer doing that. It's very satisfying. 